Alright everybody, welcome back to the Morpha Project. So today we're going to be working on the uh, part of the uh, part of the tree again, uh, the drawing part of it, and then uh, the next time we'll be able to get to the part where we need to be on the uh, coloring part. So uh, yeah, um, let's get started on this, shall we? Ah, it's a lovely day. Today actually was a very cold day as well, so um, yeah, it has been it has been a while before I actually did like two days of, not three days of not working on a Malfoy project, but you know, it's always to do, it's always important to make sure that you're not doing all the time a Malfoy project because otherwise you're gonna go nuts with all the drawing you do. But it's good to be back on this. Double check if I have pure black on. Yep, I do. I also fixed a little thing um, after I was done because I had some tiny little problems that I had uh, with the drawing I did uh, yesterday. Um, one of the things was that one of the shoulders was a little bit too lighted, lighted up, so therefore I fixed that part. All right, now we can see like yeah, this is what we need to do. Uh, we should definitely get the sketch up and running because I want to be, I want to do today. Around here, I want to be done. So this is gonna be the part that I want to go for. Is it too much? No, that's too much. That is probably gonna be too much. But around here is a good place to go for. So let's continue back into the pencil mode. There you go, pencil mode back. Oh. And then we can start drawing, and we are gonna draw when I have the 3.6, yep, there you go, I have now everything correctly selected. So how am I gonna do this? Well, first things first, I need to get the drawing a little bit done, so we should definitely follow the lines here a little bit. There you go, that's one of the lines. And how do I want this to be? Well, I want this to be a big giant tree, so... Yeah, going for like big ramping up parts, making them a little bit twisted is a good way to go for. And we're gonna go for this right there. And right over there. That's the big char the chungus done. So we won't go over that till there. So we're gonna follow these lines again. There you go. I want this to be like so. So therefore, I need to get this right there. And this part right here needs to be drawn as well, so uh, let's see. Well, we can get we can get this part right here, and then move upwards to right over there, and then get this one right there. Yes, awesome. So this is already the. Uh, these are already the main lines that I want to go for. Now I need to get the tiny lines in as well. So now the big question is, how are we going? Yeah, how are we going to do this? So I want these lines to be there, right? So we need to draw this inwards. Uh, let's see. There you go. And then go for this. And then go for right over here. And 
And then right over there, yes, lovely. Now we can continue here, making sure that we have this lovely And then once we're done with this part, we need to go over here. So I'm actually quite happy upon how how far I'm already at this. Definitely. It's a lot of work, but uh, eventually, you know, we're going to get there really fast and really soon. I just need to get a little bit motivated on getting these drawings done and ready. But uh, yeah, the more I work on this, the better it gets, the better it gets, the more better I can get everything to work. So, it's a win-win? Probably. <coughs> ah. My throat. Jeez. So, yeah. It's, um, it's a good start. It's an excellent start for to see how, how we want to get this done. How we want to see, like, ah, well, we want this, we want that, or do we want this, or do we want that in this drawing. Do we want uh, different kind of ideas? But the more and the more better stuff that it is, is you know we're drawing just wood, so there is nothing special going on. It's just me drawing wood, showing you guys how to draw wood. Probably, well, it's not a strict instruction. It's more like, well, this is how I do it. So, mm. it just takes a lot of practice and a lot of patience to get it fully functional properly. <laughs> That's one f one thing for sure. I really like how all of it works out. And uh, today I actually uh, completed the game of um, Universalis, so I'm very happy about it. I finally had unlocked an achievement, even though I actually did it on the way too easy mode, but uh, oh well. It's an achievement nonetheless. It's an achievement I won. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's great. It's great to have like an achievement that actually works well. And then still it was difficult. And somehow it was difficult because I had some kind of issues with the AI, but oh well. You cannot win them all, I guess. But yeah, as you can see, it it does create the effects that I want. Yeah. But I need to make sure that I'm not um, not doing it too much the same way. All right. Um, we want this part to be gone. We don't want this. We don't want that. We don't want that line. We don't want that line because otherwise um, things might look a little bit not too much of the same, and don't we don't want to have everything to look the same? So therefore, we need to make sure that this is correctly done. All right, uh, do do do. So yeah, um, probably I don't have a lot to tell because well. Um, I absolutely, absolutely did not a lot. I did some, but not not like interesting things. I probably were. I was more probably like, ah, well, it's good to have a day off, and then you know realize like, ah, well, it's a good day to have a day off. But then when you have a day off, you have nothing to tell because, well, what did you do? Well, there was way too much raining, so I could not get outside. It was bloody damn cold, so therefore, you know, outside was not an option to do, like, a daily walk or anything else like that. But, uh, what did I do? What did I do? I... I ordered some Chinese food, uh, today as dinner. Mm, that's, that's something. Oh, very spooky. That's a lot of work. And, uh, I... What did I do more? Well, I played video games. Mm. So yeah, it's uh, I did a lot, but not a lot like in a in a useful sense or whatever. 
I just double checked my D&D character for uh, f uh, for Sunday, so that's the thing that I did. It's lovely to see how much I actually did, but not like that. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, let's see. We're almost there. We're almost at the part where we need to be. So this is how far we got from the tree, and then there. Yep. Yeah. We're almost at the part. Now the question is like, do we want to go back there and then go upwards again? Probably yes. Probably the answer is yes, so therefore we should definitely do that. You can already see like, ah oh well, it's, the tree is actually indeed a very harsh one to go for. Especially since you need to divide all the drawing part, you need to divide all the lines, so that you know you don't have like a straight up. Well, you don't you don't want to have like a straight up following line. Like for instance, here you need to have like some some lines need to be representing the other other lines as well, but not all of them. It's very difficult in most cases, especially when you're working with this. With rocks it's quite easier because then you can just, you know, do the loop de loop with this. You can do this and then, you know, you get the rock properly done. But with this boy, you need to stretch arm your arms and look at the, like, you're playing, you're playing like a mouse mace that you need to make yourself at home at. But the more you work on the mouse mace, the more complicated it gets. And you want to make sure that everything is still there. And that is most likely the mistake that most uh, people will experience, especially with this thing. Like I could, I could get, I could get some more, I could get some more, you know, tree ideas in, but uh, so far this works pretty well, and I'm not gonna complain about that. Because it does give a unique look on trees. And that's what we need. Oh well, that's at least what I was hoping to get anyway. Ugh, my head is already spinning. Great. Well, that means that indeed it is a lot of work. And it's good to have a lot of work. Don't get me wrong there. It's good that this is all a lot of work, but it's also great that I I know then when I have a lot of work. So the main idea the main idea here is that we're just going to be going forwards and doing all the stuff that we want, and then once we're done with this, we get this. So once this whole tree is done, maybe sounds like a very big thing to do, like you know, ho. Oh, if if this is like a very big if this is a very big step yes it is a very big step because we want to have this whole tree done but once this whole tree is done it means that we have done i believe so much that we already have a lot of uh we 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 already have so much fixed that it is not even funny anymore so I'm very happy upon how far we already are at this uh, point of the point of the drawing anyway. Because once this tree is done, oh, oh, then then things are gonna go easy. Because then I only need to draw a tinier trees, so therefore it is less work, and the less work means you know more less uh, more free time to have for other things to do. Which means that you know I can do more things that are not as uh, hard to do as the other things. So, for instance, I still need to design uh, a T-shirt design for a convention. So, therefore, I need to do that as well. I already have like a cool idea in my mind, like mimic adventures. Yeah, and then you have like the mi mimic, ma uh, the, mim uh, the mimic. How do you say that? The mimic madness. Yeah, but I will not call it mimics. I will call it copycat madness, because I'm using tiny little kittens that are very, 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 very 
a lot of the same kittens and then you know you have these kittens that are raw and then you know you get the point very scary kittens they look cute they look nice and then you know instantly ah scary kittens <laughs> it's great it's a uh, it's always that, that it's always a lovely trope to have And we don't want... Do we want this part to be there? Or we do. We do want this part to be there. But then I need to update this to be a little more rounded. And not as straight as this one right here. Because the more we do... The more... The more... Uh, the more the more we uh the more we change from the perspective of you know our own, the more we change from the perspective of one point to another the better it gets on the box skin i believe there you go And now we need to move from downwards, otherwise we aren't going to be able to do this properly. So yeah, we're, we're increasing the... We're going to create the amount of stuff that we need to be done. Create the effects that we want. Create the ideas of what we want, and then, you know, move onwards from there on. Might look a little bit strange to think of this tree as, you know, a big giant web of vines, but it's all what sums it up, actually. It's all vines that are connected, but to create these vines, we need to make sure that we don't give the look of vines towards the common eye. And that's why there are all these lines in, in the way. Alright, uh, let's see, we want this to be there, we want that to be there. It's always great to just, you know, work on this thing and just be like, ah, well, what kind of music is there to be? Well, there is no music at all. It's it's great, it's great. I mean, really, if it, if it wasn't that not great, then, well, you know. I would have bought it myself sinless, but uh, no, no music while drawing, it really helps, it really helps me concentrating on like what needs to be done and what not needs to be done. The main issue that I always have with, you know, music is that, you know, uh, especially with recording the copyright strikes and all that stuff, it's, it's getting annoying. So therefore I was like, well, you know, how do I not get copyright struck before, you know, uh, without anything else uh, standing in the way. So I thought like, well, why not just, you know, draw without any music and then, you know, that will fix a lot of stuff. Also, it will keep your head less um, problematic. And I mean, really, it, the, all of this stuff, whew, it's very important that all this stuff is actually quite done properly. So now once we have this done, I could just, you know, relax and look upwards towards the problems that I did. So, what is probably going to be the most difficult thing here? Um, probably once I'm done with the whole drawing part. And then, you know, do a color over it and then realize, like, oh, well, that this part doesn't fit or this part doesn't fit. So there's probably going to be a lot of errors in this one. 
because you know it's a very big tree and therefore you know the texture is going to be very big and that is the main problem yeah because even with even even with tinier ones things like texture do add up things like textures do add up There you go. And as you can see, the more thicker, the more thicker the lines, the more difficult to get. So we should definitely move on to get the parts that we need done. So yeah, trees, very difficult. Depends on what what kind of tree you want, how the tree looks, but the bark. Ugh. One of the most nightmarious things that you can ever come across when you want to draw. Because it requires a lot of texturing and therefore, you know, it requires a lot of time. And with time comes time, and time, you don't have that too many times. Well, at least, you know, I don't have all the time. I have a lot of time, but I don't have all the time. So therefore, I need to divide my time into gaming, streaming, and doing whatever I want to do. Note, by the way, that work is also one of those things, but, you know, work I don't count. Work I don't count as, you know, a thing as a, as a hobby. I don't count work as a hobby for my, for my end. Maybe other people think like, yeah, work is also a hobby. Yes, maybe. Depends if you, if you really love it, then, well, it would it would have been better if it would have been your hobby and your work. And that is far better because, you know, then you have lots of joy in it. The main problem and downside of that kind of idea is that, well, you know, sometimes the joy can be sucked out of things if you do it way too many times or if your mentality, mentality behind what you need to do is different than you're normally supposed to do it and normally how you uh, how you do it. And that creates a lot of problems, especially in the creativity mind or asset, because you know you don't want to, you don't want to be you know blocked out, stressed out, anything like that. That would be horrible. Like for instance, I know for instance that I need to do, uh, I need to try to, I try to work on this thing every day. But that's why I always keep only one hour a day, because otherwise things might go bad. Also, I noticed that it is already s almost October, so therefore, you know, things go really spicy. Especially around here. Especially around here. Because, you know, we don't celebrate October, so... It's more likely like, oh, it's almost autumn. Well, 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 well. How 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 are the fish doing today? How many fish did we got? That's uh, most likely the uh, most cases of what and how things go. And I don't mind it. It's uh it's decent, you know. It's a decent idea of getting these uh 
celebrations up and running, but yeah, Halloween is not one of them, and we don't have that. We do have different kind of things. We do have like a celebration of St. Martha, so a man who literally, you know, gave away his cloak to the, el to the sick old man while it was winter, so that's a decent celebration. That's a decent celebration. I believe that's even Spanish, but it doesn't matter because, you know, the farmers are then, you know, rallied up to do their stuff. So we make a giant bonfire and then we burn it all. We burn it all. And it's a great bonfire. It's a great idea of how to do things or how to celebrate, you know, a big giant bonfire. Nothing can go wrong there. But yeah. And this is why I prefer... This is why I actually prefer most of, you know, my work as, you know, a specialty of mine. Just, you know, just working on things. And then realizing like, oh well, we're almost there. What? We're almost at our, at our goal? Wow. That's amazing. But yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a mental issue that, you know, can happen because, you know, you're thinking like, oh my god, it's way too much. And then when you come to the realization that it's actually not, you will feel very stupid on like, what, how, how did this go very fast? Well, in reality, you know, you probably have spent two hours. Well, it feels like 50 minutes. It's, it's, then you know that you're having joy. Then you know that you're having joy because... That's how it works. Join work, join, you know, drawings. If an hour goes past and you think you only did 50 minutes of it, mm, that's joy, alright? That's like the re real cool joy of it. And I do, I do, I do have that idea instead of my head. Especially when it comes to these things, because, well, uh, my, 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 uh, my ideas in my head are very complicated sometimes, but yeah, I feel accomplished when uh, once I have like reached my goal. It's like yes, I have done some great work today, even though it might not look like a lot, but it does feel like an accomplishment, and that is all that counts. Because it will keep you motivated for the next time, and that is important. Because you know, we have a lot to do, and a lot. Is still a lot. That's normal, but you get the point. So now we're gonna look for some more. Yep, yeah, we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw some more lines sooner or later, probably. All right, next party. It's gonna be this one going upwards. All right, cool. And as you can see. All of this, all of this hard work, all of this work that you are trying to com uh, complete, uh, compete in, all of this hard work that you are looking at, it's all accomplished by just you know, doing it, and uh, doing it is also a very good motivation. Like, as long as you keep your, as as long as your spirit is high and you try to draw things, like for instance, right now I'm trying to draw, you know this project which means that i'm trying to draw all this bloody hell uh treating and yes it looks nice already which is good because that means that we're doing an excellent job but i'll tell you oh boy this is so hard to do because i need to hyper focus on every single detail that there is and it causes me a lot of energy especially Especially when you are like, you know, right now and you're like, ah, well, it is cold outside and I'm very tired. But I'm not tired because of the drawing. I'm more tired because I'm still recovering from yesterday. What did I do yesterday? Well, yesterday I went to the, I went to the market, I believe. Yeah, I went to the market and that market was big, full of lights and uh, my head was spinning like a maniac. 
oh well, you know, it was a little bit of a problem with the head. But, and because I'm still recovering from it, it actually means that I'm very, 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 very tired. It doesn't mean I cannot function, no, 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 no. It just means that I need to, like, take a time, take a nap, and then continue. Mm -hmm. But, of course, you know, those nappings I uh, could not have done today because uh, I needed to go to the dentist and I forgot about that. So, uh, heads over heels, I went to the dentist and um, I went to the dentist and I ne and uh, he said like, well, looks like you don't, looks like we're gonna look for your out for cavities today and I'm like, go ahead, good luck with that. You will not find any on those on me. And, uh, well, no cavities. Surprise, surprise. Two years of not going to the dentist and boom, no cavities still. It's quite funny to see that, you know, cavities are, you know, a thing I not consider a thing anymore. It's like, well, ca cavities exist, but they don't exist in my books. The only thing that exists in my book is like that stupid, stupid uh, drool inside of my mouth. Because the drill inside of my mouth actually made sure that there is a that yeah, that that the, once the drill solidifies, it can it cannot be removed, and that is the most main problem here. My uh, my mucus, I believe that's the word. Yeah, mucus is. I think it is. It's quite funny to see that you know the, if mucus solidifies, is actually very problematic. Because then, the bacteria has free space. And free space means that the bacteria can rise and be strong and powerful and cause a lot of, a lot of shenanigans inside of the body. Causing overheating, causing pain, causing toothaches, all that stuff. And of course, cavities. But cavities... No. Never have heard of it. The only thing I've heard of is uh, like, you know, swollen tooth flesh, I believe. Yeah, probably that's the word. I don't know. I just translated way too roughly. But yeah. It's very important that you know to brush your teeth up early. And uh, I do it not a lot, but I try to do it a lot, but I always feel at that miserably. Like well, time to do, time to do my teeth, and then, you know, I forget halfway, like, oh, wait, I need to do my teeth today. And then I do it half, 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 and then, you know, it doesn't work properly. Oh, well. It's quite funny. So, yeah, um, how much time did we actually spend today on this already? Let me take a great look at this. 33 minutes. 34 minutes, uh, 34 minutes, well, that's a good, and that's a good old-fashioned me doing my job. That means that we're actually making faster progress on this. It means that we're actually doing great progress. The only downside of this is that, well, since we're doing great progress, it means that we also need to look out for the over... Uh, over-hasting, but... We're doing great progress, that means that we're actually doing, we're working quick and fast. That means that we can, we can do the coloring as well. So that means that we can start with the coloring a bit, so that we don't have to do it tomorrow. So that we can continue on this beautiful thing, uh, well, Monday, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> it's Friday, it's not, it, oh my god, I am, yeah, I am not, I am not awake today absolutely not awake and why the hell would I not be awake I have no idea on that part normally I would have been awake a long time but no all right well time to switch to second gear and time to see what a beautiful abomination we drew from this uh, tree part I'm saying beautiful abomination because there is probably some errors in this thing so we're gonna look for them, and we're gonna judge them, and we're gonna look for them, and we're gonna judge them. And once we judge them, we know where we need to start. So as you can see, I'm just...
putting some color in there. Oh yeah, baby. Color. And just like that, there is color. And just like that, there is lots of color. All right. That's a lot of color. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Hmm. Let me see. Where does more tree things need to be? Probably not necessary on this one. Probably not necessary. I don't know for sure, but looks like it's decent. Decent enough to make sure that I cannot do it without it. Hmm. Let me think. Um. So we have that part, that part, that part, and then that part, but then not that part. Uh, yeah, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. It's uh, it's it's not that hard. It's a uh, it's a decent amount of uh, it's a decent amount of tree. Well, it's decent amount of texture in it. That's uh, what I wanted to say. Tree. <laughs> well, it is a tree, but we need to do the texture instead. Mm -hmm. And then go down. All right. So as you can see, this tree is not fully. This tree has like a big bark, which is important because you know the the bottom the mold itself is like very big as well. All right. Now we need to get the tool brush again. So we need a pencil too. No, 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 no. We could keep this tool brush. We just need to get the color right. That one right there. All right. Now we're gonna uh, look into this and see where we, where do we need to draw? Uh, oh, I need to wipe my screen a bit. There you go. So sometimes this actually creates cool looking effects that really work well. Sometimes it doesn't. So we just need to figure out where we need to go with this and how we are going to approach the effects later on. Alright. So we're going to keep this empty hole there and we should definitely move this a little bit upwards. Which way? And that way, yes. Thank you. Yes. Much better. All right. So now we're adding the colors to it so that we can create the effects that we want. But as you can see, we need to make sure that we have the look on the tree itself. And there you go. Jeez, stomach. Wow. My stomach is literally making the rumblies. And that is not very good. It means that I have eaten way too much. It means that I actually have been dried out. Oh well. Time to drink some water then. Um, after this, of course. Not now, but after this. And this is good. This is great. The cool effects that I want. Nice. I was a little bit iffy on this, but no, this is actually quite nice. And now we can move towards the part that we need. Now we're going to go here and fix that part. While keeping a short eye on the uh, 
objective at hand, of course. Yeah, and it looks lovely. I like it. I like how this actually is turning out. It's really helpful that the trees are actually going on. It's actually really helpful that this effect this belighting of the lines actually really creates this cool looking bark skin. I like it so much. I probably can improve it on it later on if I use it more, but right now this is all I have. It's quite nice to see that you know you you know how to get from point A to point B and then you know you see this effect lighting up upwards it creates this cool looking effect like as you can see the tree comes alive when you just draw the lines on it it's lovely if though it's not it's not that much of an effect that we use we're just you know scribbling on the lines giving the and then you know pressing the pencil tool a little bit harder or softer uh, every single time which creates it, which creates this effect that you know, because the pencil tool has this effect of you know pressing harder or softer. So if I, for instance, draw here, very hard, or I draw soft, you see the difference. There you go. Which is perfect if you want to, uh, you know, get the texture properly right. All right, ten more minutes remaining. Nice. That means that I can have a nice little rest afterwards. After, of course, I did. I do my. Uh, I brush my teeth. <laughs> All right. Well, honestly, I am actually really, really, um, really helpful. Uh, well, really, really, really uh, enthusiastic. Now, I'm very satisfied. Yeah, that's the more likely word. I'm very satisfied upon how it already turns out. Now the only thing I need to do is um, get to um, get all this all this done. And the more we do this, the more no better it gets. That's the main idea. And well, that main idea actually works pretty well because you know. We're doing actually quite good. There you go. And now we actually have the cool looking drawing that we want. Or a cool looking tree that we want. There you go. That's a decent amount of texture right there. I like it. So you do it. Boah. So yeah, Morpho project, it's a big project, but if you take the baby steps well, you get to the point where you need to be. For instance, drawing the texture is drawing the uh, coloring in the texture is actually far more different uh, d far more difficult than the well, far more easier actually than drawing the texture itself. But the texture itself does give a cool looking effect which is important for that what you need to be done. And right now, you know, I don't mind being making it easy. It's just a lot of looking at a lot of colors, which makes my head go spinning around like it's an, it's an it's on a carousel, which is indeed a problem. It's a 
it's a really, really problematical thing. And, uh, you know, I need to deal with it today and, you know, take a good rest afterwards. But uh, then everything will just be fine. The only thing, the only time that this will happen is most likely just being flashing lights and uh, anything else that uh, comes in contact with uh, fast moving objects. But because this is a mist like looking structure, it does create the same effect as light. It's quite fun though. I really like this. Yep, this will create a good old-fashioned bark skin, I like it. Alright, but I'll call it a day for today. Because my head is literally too heavy to stand on its own. But, as you can see, we got pretty far. We we did the coloring, we did the drawing part, and, well, we just need to add the second color to it. So, um, oh wait. Hold on. Uh, we did. So, um,. I hope you'll have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day, and uh, bye! <laughs>